Warning, do not try this at home. Witchwasher Lab cannot accept any liability for accident, injury or death occurs as well as any damage to property as a result of recreating any part of these videos at home. This is why I create these videos so you can enjoy them. All machines featured are mechanically bad or economically unrepairable unless stated. Thank you. Right, so this is a suggestion from one of my Instagram uh, followers uh, watching three videos and I'm going to do it today. So one towel. It's quite dirty actually. Being on the floor, absorbing water. Some um, Daz. Which is way too much. And we'll just put it on to Fast Wash 60. She's quite good on that. It still hasn't given up washing yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
just going to complete a cycle. I don't think it's going to do anything. Whoa! Fast watch 60 is on a timer. So, after a while, it, if it doesn't throw up an error code, it might actually drain and then try to go into rinse anyway. Uh, it's about 40 minutes long on 60, so. I'm in there. But if it doesn't, I'm just going to end up cancelling the cycle. What I can tell you is that the heater does still work. But then it will switch off. Because I think this is all it's doing, it's just resetting and resetting and resetting and resetting and resetting. And uh, what point does it give up? So, the woman who had it before me said it was flashing up an arrow card. I never got the arrow code, but I'm doing this. Maybe she was in it, sounds a different story, so. Anyway, she just ended up with one of my hot points. She didn't have. She bought that used, anyway. Which is 10 months. Okay, so I don't think it's gonna do anything more. It doesn't seem. It's not for help in arrow codes, but. Jesus Christ! So what I've just realised there is that when it's been at 40 RPM, it doesn't spin quite as long, so therefore it doesn't get as fast. When it's been at 50 RPM, uh, 80 RPM when it's supposed to be here, it's been much faster. Interesting. Right, so basically what the machine will do now, because I've done it before, is it will just sit there now for the next 10 minutes or so, not doing anything, and then end will just come up. That's what happened last time. Anyway, that was interesting right at the end. <laughs> Good lab test, actually. I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed it too. So, I know it's been a long time since I've not been doing lab tests, and that's because I've been busy. And that's also because um, we've still got scrapping machines that we're going to be using for lab tests. Just haven't got around to actually just filming them because I've been busy just doing, fixing normal machines. So, there we are. Also, other scrap machines have come in and have just had to be scrapped. They couldn't be used. Quite a shame, really, because I, I got a Zanussi and then it's like... 
Well, the first to do see that the scrap down, the bones will completely see, so the drum just didn't move at all. And the second one is an aquafall system where the door seal's completely screwed, so I can't even fill it with water. Ugh! Annoying. Right, so I'll see you again soon. See you later.